Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you how you can install the schematic mod. There will be two versions of this video. This one is for 1.8 to 1.12 and on the screen right now you can see the 1.13 to 1.16 video. All the links will be in the description and just go to the first one and download Lulashi's core. It's a mod that makes Schematica work. I'm just gonna download it for the 1.8.9 because that's my favorite version. I'm just gonna download the universal and then go to either mods and then Schematica or the second link. Then download it for the same version for me 1.8.9 universal and keep the keep the files. Then go to the third link, which is Minecraft Forge. Then search your version for me, 1809. You know how it works. And then download the recommended one. I'm gonna start use the installer because I'm on Windows. Just gonna wait the five seconds. Then click on skip and it gets downloaded. Open it up and just click on OK. Now you have to press Windows and R at the same time. It'll open up this window and you just type in percentage app data percentage. Click on OK and then go to .minecraft and then search if you have a mods folder. If you don't, just right click somewhere and go to new folder and call it mods. Uncapitalized. If you have it, just open it up. Then I already have the mods in here, just gonna delete the, them again. I recorded this video but didn't record my mic last time. So just put in the Schematica mod into that folder and also the Lunacius core mod. And now you're basically good to go. Just close it down, close Chrome, open the Minecraft launcher, and then go to installations. When you're in installations, go to new installation, and then select the Forge version that you just installed. It's usually at the bottom. Wait, I need to restart my launcher. Right, installations, new one. At the bottom, it says 1.8.9 Forge. I'm just gonna call it Forge 1.8.9, and then press enter go to play and then go down to Forge 1.8.9. Just press on play. I understand the risk. I don't know that this, this thing is really useless. All right, I'm now in Minecraft. Just go to your options and controls and then search for Schematica. You need three things, load schematic, manipulate schematic and save schematic. Just set keybinds for those things. I already did it. And yeah, so the load schematic is where all your schematic files will be. There's a schematic folder where you can put schematics in. I'll put a website link into the description where you can download schematics. But you can also create your own ones. So I already have one, but I'm gonna show you how you can make your own ones anyways. All right, so I'm just gonna just gonna build something real quick here. Just so something really cool looking. And I'm also gonna use stairs so you can see that it actually works. Works all good. Yeah, this looks amazing and also a ladder and a torch with a glass pane on top. All right, th this is an absolute beauty and let's just say you wanted to copy this onto a server or another Minecraft world. Then you go to save schematic which is uh, this one for me, no, this one. And it will say red point and blue point. Set the red point at this corner and then go to the other side in the air and set the blue point here. Then in the bottom right, click on on. Then it'll now show you that it's all marked. Go back to that menu and call it just, I don't know, dirt tower and click on save. Now I have that saved. If I want to rebuild it, I just go over here, click on my load button, then select the dirt tower and click on okay. There you go, you can see my, my amazing build. It isn't built yet, so I can just fly and walk through it. But let's just build it now. So there are two, two options, either you you can now build it by hand because it shows you how to build it or you use the printer. So if I press manipulate schematic, you can also move it around and stuff. Um, you can also move it into the air and yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's also where you can unload it and you can select which layers you want to see. And in the bottom left, you can see the printer. You can also set a hotkey for this. I'm just gonna click on on now and walk around here and then you can see that I'm placing it without even looking at it. And that is basically how Schematica works. This is now all working, I can walk around, climb up the ladder, break the glass, oh it got automatically placed again. Break the glass, now it says that, that there's glass missing, 
If I place a dirt block on there, it'll mark it red because that's not the glass. And yeah, that, that's basically it. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm also doing like bad wars and challenges and stuff. DHC, Minecraft, speedruns, yeah, basically everything. So please subscribe. I'm not doing only tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.